All right, welcome back to the channel and we're back to working on the S2000. I know it's been a long time and depending on when this video comes out, this might be the first one or the second one since I started posting again. But we are throwing some new parts on the S2000 that I mentioned I wanted to change a little while ago because like myself, the S2000's bumper support's a little tapped and that one's a lot easier to fix than mine's is. So let's take a look at what we got and get into installing them. So I picked up the Durioku race bumper bar stay call it which is this one's the standard one it just has a provision for the factory tow hooks he offers multiple options for different mountings of oil coolers intercoolers pretty much anything you want you can add these little pucks here and you could mount that up right up to the bar but seeing how my s2000 is going to stay naturally aspirated i needed nothing else other than the stock uh, tow hook provision and even then i probably might never use that as all the welds look very nice Oops. If I point the camera at the welds, you'd see what I'm talking about. And I'm both excited and sad to put this on the car because this beautiful piece is going to go away for a while. And let's start tearing the car apart. All right, so I already started working on the bolts here. So for me, I had five five millimeter Allen head bolts. Yours would be 10 millimeters, assuming it's stock. I also had two more to do for the radiator supports or the radiator tie down because of the coolant plate all includes all of that. So that comes right off. And then you have the two tens, one on this side, one on that side. Tens in the corner here. And then also the opposite side. And then about 10 that go all around the bottom of the bumper, tying in the plastic splash shields. And then you should be able to just pull this right off. And let's see. with a little bit of force and that'll come free and just work around just give it a little wiggle and it comes free all right so this is what i mean when it's a little tapped on the bottom side so right here the previous owner got into a little fender bender and you can see it's all kind of like wrinkled up here and starting to rust and rot away. So I figured might as well get a new one. And when I went on eBay, there was no Suzuka blue ones. Go figure. There'll be a bunch now that I bought the bar over there. But we'll replace that with the new Dorioko bar. And let's get into doing that now. To remove the OEM one, it looks like we got a 14 millimeter bolt right here. There's another one right on the bottom side, just opposite of it. I don't know if it'll focus, but it's in right there. Then we have the five four clips that hold down the air diverter. And that should be everything. So I'm gonna grab the Milwaukee setup, knock those out, and take those clips out, and hopefully that just slides out easy. You may have to loosen the 10 millimeters holding the headlights in in the corners here just so you get a little bit more wiggle room to reach those bolts. Last 14 right here. And there she is. I also had to knock off the plastic clips holding the front center tray just to reach in here as well. All right, that was a lot easier than I was expecting. There's the trouble side. I'm gonna go get a pry bar. We'll be right back. All right, we returned with the mightiest of all pry bars. And we're free. 
Oh, it looks like it's starting to transfer rust to the body. Good thing we're getting rid of this. Let me get something to clean that up and we'll start putting on the Dorioku bar. So I ended up going with the Dorioku bar because I couldn't find any Suzuka blue ones on eBay at the time, go figure. There's gonna be a bunch of them now once I put this on, but this is a little prettier, a little better. It's zinc coated and a little stronger, a little bit lighter, and it takes up a lot less space. So I'm gonna be throwing that in. And as far as cost, this one was $35 deposit to get on the group buy. And then it was another 300 or 335, making it about 365-ish. But honey, if you're watching, they gave it to me for free to test. So I'm just putting the part on for the video. And let's get into putting that on now. Alright, so we got the new bar and it's just going to slide in and place over the old one, like so. It looks like there's a little extra space in the opening there to slide on, so it makes it a little easier. And then once you tighten the bolts down, it'll clamp down and hold in place stronger. Alright, so there you have it. The bar is on, the 14s have been tightened. I took the opportunity to replace some of the broken clips on the bottom side. I do still need to get some new clips for here as well as the splash guard for the passenger side so I can finish that up over here, complete that. And for the air diverter, I did zip tie it back to the stiffener back here just so it wouldn't be like rattling against the metal bar causing an annoying sound. Since I do have the innovative mounts, they are 85A and the car does vibrate a good bit. And this would make noise. But other than that, it's time to throw the bumper cover back on and hide this pretty piece. All right, and just like that, there is no signs that anything were done to the car today besides the zinc plated tow hook mount on the track bumper bar. I did forget to mention that you no longer need the styrofoam insert behind the bar because the bar kind of rounds out and takes up that extra space. All right, so that's gonna do it for this one. We put on the Dorioku track bumper support bar. I keep wanting to say traction bar because of the word track and bar so close and all the other cars have traction bars. My brain just makes the connection that way. So we're gonna get back to posting on a lot more regular schedule. I'm gonna commit to at least one type of like technical or install video a month and then try to fill out the other weeks with other content, whatever else I have going on, different car events, cars and coffee, stuff like that. Maybe new parts review on the Mini. And if you made it to this point, thank you for watching. Don't forget to like, subscribe, comment, and share, and we'll see you next time.